Hey, thanks for joining us today at the Technical Institute. Today we're going to be going over ScreenShot. Now, ScreenShot is designed to work with Lippert right swing doors or right hinge doors. So as you're looking at your door and you open it, it should swing to your right. If you have a different door manufacturer or the door swings to your left, it won't work with that style of door. The ScreenShot is designed to automatically pull that screen door closed as you're exiting the RV. That way pests, debris, whatever it may be, doesn't get inside your RV. So today we're going to be going over what's inside the box and then basic installation. So tools for installation, what you'll need is tape measure so that you're measuring that opening of your door the proper way so that you're ordering the correct one that's going to fit for your screen door. And then a cordless drill. We'll be using an impact today, but you can use a standard, standard drill as well. Let's see what's inside the package. So inside of here, you'll have a set of fasteners. One end bracket inside of this package here, which we'll see when we're doing that installation. You've got your installation manual, and then you actually have the rod here with another end bracket already attached to it. So inside of this rod, if we slide this apart, just to give you an idea of how this is working, we have this nylon strap and this spring. That's going to cause tension when you open that screen door so that when you let go of the screen door, that tension compresses and that door closes with it. So that's simply how this thing's working. So let's go ahead and look at the installation process. To ensure that we're ordering the proper screenshot, what we want to do is make sure we're making, taking the measurements from the correct location. We don't want to measure the screen door. That won't get us the proper part that we need. What we're going to do is we're going to measure the inside edge of the door frame to the other inside ed edge of the door frame. So we're sitting at 25 and 3 eighths right here. So we're going to round up to the nearest even number. So that would put us at 26 inches. So we're going to order a 26 inch screenshot. So if you're not quite sure about opening, measuring the opening of the door, the other option you have is supplying this variant code sticker to our customer service folks. So simply take a picture of that or call them and supply that information and they can help get you the correct screenshot. Now, in the event that your coach is a little older, maybe that variant code sticker has fallen off. Your option at that point is just to simply measure the rough opening from the inside edge of the door frame to the other side of the door. So the first step to installation is getting our webbing installed through our hinge side end bracket here. So this hinge side end bracket has sort of this channel grooved out of it so that that webbing slides right into it just like you see there. The other thing before we do installation is give you a close look at these end brackets. They've got a thinner channel up top here and then a larger channel back here. So your screen door should have two channels. This one will latch into that first groove and then this one slides into that back groove or the one closest to the entry door itself. So when we go to install this, it's going to sit similar to this. It'll fit here properly. <clears throat> but this bracket here, the one that's fastened, it comes pre-fastened. That is your latch side or the side closest to your door handle. It has to be installed that way, otherwise the screenshot won't work properly. The first step, we're going to slide this guy right up in place just like that. So you can see that this channel right here, where my finger's pointing, should accept this first piece of the um, screen door. And then this back channel here should accept this larger portion of this end bracket. So this end bracket is our hinge end bracket. So it's going to be the end bracket that has the webbing going through it. And you're just going to slide that up in place. The other thing you want to make sure is that the top portion of this end bracket, so where it's flat right here where my finger's riding along, is sitting flush with the bottom of the H bar or where the uh, screen door or the screen is attached here. So first step here, set those two in place. And this may take a little bit of effort. You might have to push it in. Hear a little pop there. And now it's set in place. All right. So that is now exactly where we want it installed for this portion of the installation. The next thing we're going to look at will be the latch side bracket 
and how to get that guy to sit in place properly. The next side here is the latch side bracket. Now this latch side bracket already comes pre-attached to the screenshot assembly here. It does come with an extra screw, so for whatever reason, if it's not already attached, that screw can be utilized to assemble it for you. But simply to install this one, we still want those channels on this guy to line up properly. So we'll just sort of bend it down so we can get it going in those channels and then just push it up in place. So now it's inside the edge of our screen door here. The next step, we'll go ahead and grab our screws and our screw gun. And there's two screws we're going to fasten underneath this to help secure and support it. So we're going to use two screws, one on either side of the screen door. They are number six, eight by half inch long, and they're using a number two square head. When we're installing these screws, we're actually going to go to the inside channel here, the one closest to the screen itself. Now that we've got that side in, that's going to help support that end bracket. Next step is to install the screw that is closest to our hinge side. So to properly secure the webbing, the first thing you're going to do is pull back the webbing. And I'm going to have someone help me, so it'd probably be best if you did that as well, because this is going to have a lot of tension on it. But we're going to measure and we want to make sure that where we attach the sheet metal screw we're going to be using, that that hole is a half inch from the frame of the door. So not including the weather stripping, but a half inch from the edge of the frame of the door. We want to be a half inch from that. The other option you have, instead of using the sheet metal screw, is a pop rivet. So if you want to use a pop rivet that comes in the package, you're welcome to. The sheet metal screw is going to work just fine for you, though. So as I tighten this down, it may want to kind of wrap around like that on you. You don't want that to do that as best you can. It's not going to have any real adverse effects to the system. But once that's attached, you have all this tension here. So when we let the screen door go, it's going to go ahead and close for us. So operation for screenshots, pretty simple. Currently, we have the screen door latched to our entry door. We'll go ahead and let that guy go. And then you can see, without any assistance from me at all, that screen door closes itself. Now, the screenshot is not designed to close your entry door with it as well. Now, depending on your entry door, if it's a smaller entry door, it very well may, but it won't do that for us in our situation just because it's not designed to also close the entry door. So to close the entry door at this point, we'd simply close that entry door. So a few things to keep in mind with the screenshot, as far as measuring goes, we're going to measure from the inside of the door frame to the other inside edge of the door frame. We're going to take that measurement. So again, we had 25 and 3 eighths roughly. We're going to round that up to the closest even number. So in our case, that would be 26. As far as installation goes, you saw you might have to put a little force behind it to get it in those channels on your screen door. But after that, it's pretty straightforward. If you have any other questions, you can get a hold of us at lci1.com. We have other installation videos, owner's manuals, aftermarket manuals there as well to help assist you. Or you can contact our customer care center. That's 574-537-8900. You can also reach them through our website. There's a chat feature on there. We also have the MyLCI app with all that mobile information on the go. Thanks for joining us today. We look forward to having you back.